So you don't have a punter on scholarship right now? Uh, no, we don't. Coach now, we're not, we're not uh, totally out of business because Jack Luckhurst can punt and pretty good punter, and uh, as well as Kevin Macias. Okay. Kevin, kind of a jack of all trades for us. Oh, okay. so, that would be last... so you, well, you weren't probably surprised that Turk decided to. Well, you know what? I, I really thought he would come back for at least another year, but he was four years out of high school because he set out a year before he went to Lafayette College and then set out a year here and he punted for us. And so, you know, with the influence of his of his uncle Matt and uh, family decision, they decided to go ahead and try to make it a business. Okay. So obviously the other special teams issues. Obviously you got Zendaya's coming back. What do we? What do you do with him to work on him? Maybe maybe getting his range a little bit more than what it was last year. Well, really the biggest thing is is his continued development in the in the strength and conditioning program. And I think that'll help him. I, I see us having a highly competitive spring training with with uh, Christian and Jack Luckhurst and Josh Blaster. That'll be be fun. Yeah, and we're, we're, I just can't say who that is. We're, we're going to be fine. We'll be really fine. Yeah. Okay. Also, Brandon, how you can return games. That's a massive loss there. What do you think of the Lars? Well, it is a big loss because he really uh, excelled at it last year. We'll, we'll go with uh, Jordan Porter. Uh, we'll probably be the first guy up on kickoff returns. And then punt returns, you know, Jack Jones had a good, solid month of practice getting ready for a bowl game. He's got some ability. And then we've got a number of the young guys coming in with Daniel Nagata and, and uh, 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 the other kid from Folsom. Yeah, and so those guys will be in the mix. And then also here, we've got, um, got a couple more guys that have got the ability to catch it. And so we'll, we'll work through those things. I, that won't probably be cleared up until we get through a training camp in August. You've been in this business a long time. Um, you guys have lost about half your staff. Is there an effect that it has just on the synergy of the group? You know, it, it really, I think it all starts with the way Herm handles things, the big picture of the program. We've got tremendous energy, we got a great culture, and football is a game of change, not only on the playing field, but with players, coaches alike, and so it's something that you, that you prepare for and you move forward. This group of guys that we've got here is, it's exciting, it's unique, we've got some, you know, some highly energized young guys that I think it's going to really help our program.